now are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the uh, St. Boy uh, Revolution. Next, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Terry J, uh, representing the City of Vancouver, to come forward to say a few words. Terry. Well, thank you very much. Um, first of all, I really do want to just bring, first of all, greetings from Vancouver uh, Mayor uh, Gregor Robertson and uh, all of Vancouver City Council, joined here by Councillors Reimers and Woodsworth, right over here. And, uh, but, you know, I really want to thank the Chinese Freemasons and Portland Hotel for coming together and doing this. Uh, you know, to be able to celebrate Chinese history and part of the downtown east side is really an amazing thing. And, uh, you know, it just brings communities together, and that's what we want to see in Vancouver, and that's what Vancouver is all about, bringing everyone together and recognizing and respecting everybody's histories. You know, um, my family came to uh, Canada uh, during the Qing Dynasty. You know, if you don't know what the Qing Dynasty was, think of the movie The Last Emperor. Okay, you got that one, the guy with the, with the pigtails and a hat that go like this, right? Uh, that was the old feudal system. And of course, my family uh, left China about that time and set up here in Canada. And we're very big supporters of Sun Yat-sen. And uh, when he made his, uh, I think it was his third trip to Vancouver, they wanted to raise money. And the Freemasons were fantastic because how they raised money was they mortgaged their properties, they sent to people, you know, make a donation. Of course, my grandparents didn't have a lot of money and they really needed their property. So uh, they didn't know how to donate. And so while my grandmother was sleeping one night, my grandfather stole the earrings off her ears and donated it to the revolution. She never, ever forgave him until 1949, <laughs> well, not, until 1911 rather, when the uh, Chinese Republic was founded. She goes, okay, I let you off the hook. Anyhow, she always told us that story. But uh, what's really exciting now is that, uh, you know, we're going to have something in this building. You know, I just took my son to Britain the other, in June, and we were walking around the streets of London, and every building has a plaque on it. And you can say, oh, wow, this is where something famous happened. Oh, look, the Baden-Powell building. Oh, look, Charles Dickens was here. Now we could walk through a part of Vancouver and say, the hero, the father of the Chinese Revolution was here. And that's going to be fantastic. So congratulations, everyone. And really, thank you, Portland Hotel, for doing this and recognizing it all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Terry. Uh, next, I love that story about those earrings. <laughs> it's a good thing she had earrings, too, eh? Um, that's all they have left. <laughs> that's all they have left. Uh, very good. OK, and so um, uh, the next uh, um, item on our agenda actually is the unveiling of the plaque. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to invite uh, Liz, representing the Portland Hotel. Uh, I'm going to invite Chuck, uh, representing the Chinese Freemasons, uh, to come forward. Harry uh, and our counselors uh, to also please come forward. Uh, and we'll just stand around uh, this uh, plaque here to unveil it. Now, <laughs> we have two other Freemasons people here. I'm just going to invite them as well. Oh, yeah. And then uh, also. Uh, <laughs> Oh wait, I'm going to take that. Do you want to come over here? Yeah, thank you. I'm tall. You can stand in front of me. They were the fathers of the revolution. People up front. Stand in front of me. Come over here. Okay. Good. 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 Ok